the Kenya Defense Forces vision reads, a premier, credible, and mission-capable force deeply rooted in professionalism. The Kenya Defense Forces is not just a fighting force. It's not just an institution of rules, routines, and a culture. It is also a community. As KDF soldiers, our mission is to defend and protect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the Republic of Kenya, assist and cooperate with other civil authorities in situations of emergency or disaster and restore peace in any part of Kenya affected by unrest or instability as assigned. One of the issues that occupies us every day as we manage the Ministry of Defense as a whole and the Kenya Defense Forces in particular is how to enhance the welfare of our soldiers. The best form of welfare for our troops is first rate training. This is what prepares our troops for tasks ahead. We are therefore duty bound to make sure that we give our soldiers, our troops, the best form of training to prepare them. Morale and welfare is essential to the resilience of the military community. This is achieved in the areas of welfare and compensation, finance, chaplaincy, education, medical, welfare organizations. We've established some new schemes to address the needs of our soldiers and also to reinforce old existing schemes so that they're able to be modernized and to meet the changing face and the changing character of the Kenya Defense Forces. In all our barracks, we have appropriate welfare centers which take care of the families, but also take care of the families of the ones that we have lost in battle. This is a big emphasis that we have put to make sure that we have now in place a whole branch that takes care of welfare issues alone. For effective performance of uh, a soldier's uh, duties, uh, his welfare has to be taken care of because uh, if the uh, morale is low, uh, if he has got worries about the family, then definitely his uh, effectiveness uh, uh, becomes uh, compromised. When welfare is a priority, military families are strong and service members are mission ready and capable. Welfare of a soldier does not begin wakati askari ya meumia. The welfare of a soldier begins from the command thinking through of the welfare of this soldier from the entry of the system baga exit. It's a continuous process and it's a command responsibility. Kwamba, you start by making sure you do things that will protect that soldier from even being hurt by the enemy, by the ID, or any other dangers that he encounters in his uh, daily routine. Our plans is to ensure that the issue of welfare is monitored closely and we do whatever we can within the limitations of our resources to ensure that welfare is taken care of. We want to ensure that every unit has a welfare center where those staff in those centers are able to monitor and report back on every welfare issue. Whether serving in operations, injured on or off duty, suffering a physical or mental health injury, or diagnosed with a terminal illness, the Kenya Defense Forces will support our soldiers and their families' recovery. <laughs> amefanya kazi ya maana sana katika maisha yangu. Hii electronic wheelchair 
ni jeshi ambao ili provide. Ime add sana katika motivation yangu. Nikiona movement yangu imerejelea hali yake ya kawaida. Kutoka kila wali mweta hospitali memorial, wali mshugulikia sana, sana. Kwa hiyo mwesi mmoja alika huku haki kupata shida hata kitoro. Kwa hali mtegenesa waka mshugulikia, waka washugulikia wote wenye walikuja na wakatoka hospitali. Na hata waka mtafutia shule ya mekua kienda kila siku, wamekua waki mkutia na wali kila siku, na hakuna siku wa mshia ikosa kuenda shule. Kama siku na maji wa pande, na chukuru mugu za hiki. Kwa hii kazi, wazo chikawa ni kikuu hasa wapati zikuwa ni kikuwa na panye mungu. Sa hii niko kazi, na kukua mnalipo kama wasikari ya kine, niyupa ni mekua selekari ya mburu kari. Kari ni kwa ni mekua ya kunipereka kwenye mataka. Na kukua selekari ni kwa sawa, atakata ni kwa ni mure mazu ni kwa sawa, chukua jesu sawa. When the Kenya Defense Forces relocated me to the base, they gave me a an accommodation within the base which was a ground floor house and it was renovated and made suitable by building a ramp so that I can be able to access my house. Good health is critical to military and family readiness, allowing service members to perform their responsibilities at work and at home to the best of their abilities. On an eventuality that this soldier is uh, injured kwa sababu ya vita, then all the processes taken to relieve him from pain and move him away from mali ya meumia. Then lazima tuwe na mikakati ya kutoa uyu askari haraka, aweze kufikia medical facilities at the earliest possible. Health services, uh, actually we, we, we give these services to human resource. Those are our soldiers and families. And uh, healthy soldiers, that means to the commander on the ground who needs to utilize these particular soldiers, they'll be able to employ and deploy healthy uh, personnel that are able to be able to give back in terms of security wherever they'll be deployed. PTSD is a common uh, mental health il uh, illness eh? that happens when one is exposed to traumatic event which is uh, life-threatening in Asia. PTSD is not unique to KDF, but uh, at the moment we are experiencing some of these cases due to our uh, areas engagement in, in operations area. And post-traumatic stress disorder is one of the areas that we mitigate. I have a PTSD. I have PTSD. I have a 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 PTSD. Ile kujizuia sana, unaona kama unaweza patikana na kitu yote. Unaona kama wanakuja. Hmm? Ile kupata kuongeleshwa, bado, imenisaidia sana. Kuja kujua kwanza siya hata miipeke yangu niko na hizi mashida. Unaona, tuko wengi, na inaweza kontroliwa pia. Unaona, kwanza, kwanza kwa kiafi ya mwili yangu, mebadilika vizuri. Kia kili hata ile usingizi siku wanapata, angalau hizo wiki mbili nimekaa hapa hivi. Nimeanza at least tata kupata usingizi. We have progressed with the war in Somalia. We have noticed that some of our troops require special care to make sure that they are reintegrated into uh, society. We have therefore come up and built a whole rehabilitation center that is not only going to look at the physical disabilities, but also the psychological difficulties that the soldiers come back with from battle. Chaplains are the military's religious leaders, responsible for tending to the spiritual and moral well-being of service members and their families. We have the Roman Catholic Church, we have Anglican Church, and we have the Muslims. And the the three work in common or in a harmony. Our mission is to make sure that the welfare of the soldiers, that's both officers and the service members and their families and their relatives and all those who depend on them is K34. As principal imam, I have uh, so many imams in various units and bases 
which I'm leading to facilitate the welfare and the spiritual being of uh, all the KDF personnel and their families and their dependents. As a soldier, home is the center of your family and arguably the most important influence on how you embrace your new life. Those who are housed in the camps, we ensure that they are housed in a very conducive and habitable environment. Those who are not housed in the bases, of course, get their house allowances but eventually, our aim is to ensure we house as many people as possible in the barracks. Military pay and compensation and welfare is a critical component of military service. The Compensation and Warfare Branch is a new branch at the Defense Headquarters whose purpose is to provide compensation for employees who die or are injured in instance while undertaking military service or training. Our main role is to process personal enrollment for each KDF personnel. We ensure they are paid their entitlement in a timely manner and in a consistent way. The KDF is committed to our Army's children by offering quality education programs and facilities catering for both lower and upper levels. Yeah, in the KDF, we recognize that education is a key aspect of welfare and therefore the core of education provides a broad range of education services uh, to support um, our families and our service members. And for these schools, we also admit uh, uh, children of uh, civilians or from the community around the bases you see they're also part of our larger family but uh, the most of the vacancies are reserved for the service personnel we have the older schemes these are the defense canteen organization which is like a trading organization that enables our soldiers to receive some goods and services at a subsidized uh, price uh, as in recognition of the service and sacrifice uh, that they make for the nation. As our soldiers transition to post-service as veterans, KDF supports them and their families in making a successful adaptation from military life to civilian life. We have the Defence Forces Medical Scheme, which is a strong scheme that is established to assist soldiers access excellent medical facilities when they retire. Bada ya kustafu, maisha yagu kwa maba ya mediko, emekua afadhali ata kuliko wakani likuwa kwa jeshi. Nimehudumua mzuri na wate ya medical insurance scheme wamekuwa kinunulia dawa za aina tofauti kuligana na magonjwa ambayo niko naye wamekuwa kinisaidia kulipia mambo ya my wife ambaye amekuwa na tabu kwa muda mrefu amekuwa kilazo katika hospitali ya Karen from time to time na wamekuwa wakilipa bill kubwa kubwa sana ambayo Kama sige kuwa katika deaf miss, na fikiri hakuna kitu nigeweza. We have uh, uh, partnered with the financial institutions through the uh, welfare center. We organize uh, uh, a retirement or resettlement uh, programs for those who are about to retire, many uh, from between uh, three years up to uh, one year to retirement. And uh, they are advised on uh, how to start a life uh, uh, outside. The Kenya Defence Forces Comrades Association is the first point of contact for KDF veterans seeking support. 
We put veterans and their families in touch with the organization that is best suited to assist them with information, advice, and support they need, from healthcare and housing to finances and more. In addition, we have recently established a savings and cooperative scheme for our soldiers to enable them to make savings and to make investments that will see them through retirement and that will enable them to utilize their resources effectively so that they are able to begin to build a sense of economic empowerment and a sense of economic worth. The KDF is constantly developing and expanding programs to maximize service member families, stability and quality of life. As the Kenya Defence Forces, we care for our own. 